Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial, and today we've taken a field trip to the local swimming hole, and we're going to test out some myths, possible realities, that we have heard about the standard U.S. Navy uniform. Namely, if you your ship goes down and you end up in the water uh, wearing nothing but your uniform, you can do things with it to protect yourself from the elements, to uh, use as flotation device potentially. We're going to get in the water and test all this and see if it actually works. So our first uh, myth that we're going to test out is the U.S. Navy adopts bell-bottom pants so that you can take your pants off while you're in the water without removing your boots. So you'll notice that uh, these pants are pretty flared at the bottom. Uh, this seems to be a relatively uh, 70s era uniform that we've cobbled together here. Uh, so yes, it is the style of the day. When has the military's uniform ever been affected by the style? So the whole supposition of the myth is that it was done that way for a purpose. So let's say we go down in the water in the Pacific and we're going to be in the water a little bit and then we're going to end up uh, climbing up on a coral atoll or a reef or something like that. I don't want to take my shoes off and get my feet all cut up on my way onto this island because that attracts sharks, sharks that live in coral reefs. So you leave your boots on, but your pants are heavy and they weigh you down and, and you've got to strip those off. So we're going to see if uh, that actually works, if I can do that while leaving my boots on. The next thing we're going to test is, uh, can these pants be used as a flotation device? So there is uh, a theory out there that I've never tested before, uh, and I believe it even shows up in some of the Blue Jackets manuals, depending on what year you have, that you can tie up the legs of the pants and swing these over your head so that the waist uh, goes into the water and traps air in the legs, and then you can hug it as a flotation device. Uh, this is very important for someone like me because we Polacks are extremely dense. I do not float. Uh, so the use of a flotation device will be critical or else the weight of leaving my boots on is going to drag me down. Uh, so we're going to see if that works and then we'll talk a little bit about the other pieces of the uniform here as uh, a survival situation. All right, so it's been 30 years since your museum ship was last dry docked and she went down. You're in the water. What do you do now? So the theory that we're going to test today is that I can take my bell-bottom pants off over my boots and turn them into a flotation device. So let's start with just taking the pants off without drowning. <laughs> off to a bad start. All right, I don't like the button there. The button is not helpful. We have the pants undone. Of course, these being 70s pants and very stylish, uh, they are quite tight around the waist and quite high-waisted. So let's see, can we even get these? All right, all right, off to a good start. Can't really use my legs to swim anymore. Picked a bad day to go commando. Nope. <laughs> First leg out. Okay, so we've encountered a new problem here. The sole of my boot has delaminated from the foot and is caught on my pants. So 
It's not going to protect me from any coral reefs. Let's try and hold that in position. So full disclosure, I'm only having some success here because I can bounce off of the bottom in this pool. All right. I have some pants. Uh, my pants ended up inside out as part of the taking them off process. So let's just leave them that way. I don't know which way they're supposed to be. Ugh. But in theory, at this point, I just tie a knot in the bottom. You probably want as much material as possible to hold air. I'm going to try and choke that up. All right. One leg's inside out, one leg is not. It's always got to be something when your ship sinks. Man, why are these days never easy? Fortunately, there's no tide in this pool taking my pants away from me. Okay. All right. So, at this point, we have a pair of pants that is knotted. I imagine you probably want the button tighten. That gives you more area. We really should read a Blue Jackets manual one of these days. Okay. 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 Now, honestly, wearing my boots is more difficult swimming here with the sole coming off because as I try to kick back, it's just pulling the sole more. But, uh, so you're supposed to have the thing over your head like this and then swing it like that and holy cow uh, there is enough air in the legs for me to float I can't believe this one guys I don't know what else to say this actually works I did it in one try Thanks. Oh, there you, go. you can hear the air escaping from one of these knots I was not a boy scout long enough yeah so uh I'm in a pool, I can touch the bottom. So that is the saving grace here. I am not sure that the bell bottom made it any easier to get off over my boots. Of course, my boots are uh, coming apart. Can you see that? I can. <laughs> um, so that certainly made things more difficult. However, if you've just survived the sinking ship, uh, odds are your kit is not going to be squared away. Uh, so I feel like these are not unheard of difficulties. Uh, that said, one, once I actually got them off, it worked. Uh, the pants were kind of heavy to swing over my head, being all wet. Uh, so I sort of had to stand on the bottom there. I'm not sure how effective that would have been were I uh, in the open ocean and could not stand on the bottom. However, I do like living, so you know, maybe I would have found a way. And maybe I'm not worried about cutting my feet up on coral and I would just get rid of the boots anyway. They don't really go with this outfit. All right, so your pants aren't the only thing that you'll end up with in the water that could protect your life. We've all seen Gilligan's Island, right? These Dixie Cups really don't look like they're good for anything. They're attractive looking hats. They're Freaking iconic, but what are they protecting you from? Uh, they, they don't really do much. However, sailors uh, stuck in a raft at sea or stuck in the water were known to, uh, much like Gilligan,
turn the brim of their hat down. And now, my eyes, my face, ears, neck are all protected from the sun. Uh, especially if you end up going down in the South Pacific, the sun is going to just burn you alive while you're floating in the water. Fortunately, ships sinking provide their own sunscreen. Pretty high SPF stuff, but I don't recommend using it. Uh, Libby, can you get the 10 gallons of motor oil that we were going to use? What do you mean we can't put motor oil in the pool? Well, if the ship sinks, there's going to be a ton of fuel oil in the water with you. Now, if you sink close to land, say the uh, battleships that go down during Pearl Harbor, you want to avoid that motor oil, uh, or, or uh, Bunker C in this case. It burns, uh, the whole surface of the water was burning, you're going to try and swim under that. But if you go down on a ship at sea, getting covered in the oil actually has two positive effects, and maybe you want to get as much on you as possible. Now, keep in mind, folks, this is purely in a survival situation. Don't go to the beach and cover yourself in motor oil. Um, but, one, it's thick, it covers your skin. That is more sunscreen for your arms, your hands. It'll keep you from getting sunburned and blistered and uh, making your last days even more painful. The other thing is, the motor oil acts, or the uh, fuel oil, acts as a shark repellent. As long as you're covered with this stuff, um, most sharks aren't going to think you taste that great. Uh, so slather yourself in dead dinosaur and you're good to go. Uh, for about two or three days until it all washes off. But that's fine uh, because at that point the dehydration is probably worse than the sunburn or the shark bites. So these are some of the ways that if you go into the water wearing nothing but the clothes you have, uh, you can extend your life while you're waiting for rescue. So, uh, had, had you ever heard the story about the pants before? Did you think it was going to work? Have you ever tried it before for yourself? Let us know in the comment section down below what your experience is with using your own pants as a flotation device are. Uh, this is one of those stories that my dad knew as a kid because his father was in the Navy uh, and his great uncles were in the Navy during World War II. So I grew up hearing about it and uh, am surprised now at 32 years old after hearing about it for the last three decades that it actually works. My dad maybe knew something. So if you've just finished up a hard day of testing out the naval myths by the pool, you're going to need your own Battleship New Jersey beach towel. This is a replica of the sort of towel sold in the ship's store to the ship's crew during her Vietnam deployment. And we sell these in our store. There's a link in the description down below if you would like to uh, get your own Battleship New Jersey towel to preserve some of your dignity. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State and also from a number of other uh, businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate the support you guys have given us over the years. It allows us to do crazy fun stuff like this. And there's a link in the description below if you'd like to continue supporting us. We really appreciate it. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about the museum and our channel. Thanks for watching. When am I going to get rescued? <laughs>